Hi, welcome back to a Transformers toy review. We're taking a look, taking a look, I should say, at a Generation Select figure. This is Autobot Lancer. Uh, this is from the Wolf Cybertron trilogy line, and uh, basically, this one is another one of the Fembots. So I think this is the last one um, that I need for the all-female combiner. So they've all got similar. The limbs anyway we've got similar alt modes and robot modes they're basically made out of the same uh, mold with some tweaks here and there obviously different colors repaints and different head sculpts that type of thing so uh, this one here is done is part of the generation select line with that they basically come in these kind of almost like brown mailer boxes that, where there's no sort of kind of pictures or anything the Figures just in a clamshell held within with uh, her instructions and her accessories. The accessories that she comes with are this combiner piece here. So this is a fist. It can be used either way because it's got things either side. This bit can be taken out as we've seen before. Out of here. She can hold that in her hand like so. It can be held as a blaster. This can also be tucked on the back and held as a backpack, which we've seen in previous reviews. You can also put in Titan Masters in here or Prime Masters in here if you wish to as well. This piece also, as well as being a fist, can be used as a um, connector for the feet. So they plug onto the back of the feet and it gives it some extra support when in the uh, limb mode. Okay, so that is that. She does also come with this additional gun, which is in black plastic with this thin blue line of paint going through it. And that pegs in her hand like so. Actually, quite it's quite a tight connection, actually. Um, I don't know if that's because... No, the inside of her hand isn't painted. Uh, it does go through. Do you have to push it? Um, it doesn't look as if there's going to be any problem there. Um, and you've got various ports where you can put things as well. I prefer uh, without that to just holding the, the normal gun. Um, I've only just recently ordered this one. I think it's been out for a, a fair while. I must have just missed a pre-order or forgot about it. I'm not sure. I sometimes do that. But uh, it's quite a decent looking figure. There's lots of purple paint on here. Um, the face is painted kind of a light purple and then an even lighter one around the kind of lips. These metallic blue eyes, silver round here as well and on the front. Autobot symbol on the front and painted hands as well. The legs are just purple plastic um, and the wheels are painted as well pretty much it um this is all the inside of here is painted silver which um yeah they didn't have to do but it comes out in the alt mode which you'll see the head rotates around you can kind of get it all around but there is a little bit of interference it can go up down not much either side they go all the way around slightly hindered by the backpack here that's a side it can go all the way up to there and they can obviously rotate around because they're in a bull peg, nothing on the hands. You do get waist articulation here, and that goes all the way around. The legs can go all the way up, so you can do a good high kick at the back, but you do have to come back at an angle, and there's a, a peg there for a flight stand. Out to the sides as far as there. Legs, you almost like a double jointed thing, so you can go right the way back, and she can kick herself in her backside so that's the official one and then you've got kind of an extra one there as well the feet move forward and back uh, you do get a tiny bit of tilt in there but not a lot um, the legs do feel a little bit um, looser than they did on green light but you can still get her in some decent poses and she will hold that pose um, I'm not going to show the combiner modes in terms of the limb and the limb modes, the arms and legs, because we've seen that already with green light. 
but we will transform into vehicle mode. It looks as if it's pretty much the same mould, obviously just a repaint. The head is a new head sculpt as well. So, if I remember this correctly, you want to fold these bits up here and that just pegs over the top of there, like so. And then, like so, like that. Uh, these bits peg together like that. This bit comes and pegs from here. This whole section rotates around. Uh, this bit rotates around as well. You're going to peg this bit down into here. It does this. The color schemes on on this car is quite wacky. It does look as if it. I'm going to say it looks as if it should be from wacky races, kind of dick dastardly kind of kind of um, car. It's just really quite bright. I think this figure, or the character at least, is featured in the kind of G1 cartoon. There is that one uh, episode where a lot of the kind of Fembots appear um, and it's kind of the aerial bots uh, where they travel back in time and Orion packs and the uh, aerial bots kind of get duped a little bit by um, Megatron. Okay, so that is that. There he, well, there she is in her vehicle mode. You've got a couple of pegs here where you can put the Titan Masters on. And where I mentioned the silver was painted inside, this is where it comes out because you can see it underneath that purple translucent plastic. Um, there is some orange paint apps around here as well as the purple and it all kind of kind of meshes in quite nicely it doesn't stand out too much as in being different colors which it can do sometimes where you've got one color where this is orange plastic in there and where it's painted but it seems to be done pretty well and um, you've got some lighter orange paint apps added and around here and they're done very well uh, silver for the headlights and on the wheels as well. It's done nicely. So it rolls okay. It's a little bit awkward on this sort of surface, but uh, you see it, it rolls okay on that. It does seem as if the hands are a little bit too close to that. And then you can... Peg this, you can peg this into the back here as well. Like that. So you can do that if you wish to. I think you can plug the gun on the side there. Um, that seems to be pretty much the only kind of place for it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much her all together. Um, I'll, I haven't got all of the other Fembots here side by side, but I do have green light. Is it green light? I'm sure it is. And he did a review of her the other day. But uh, I'll quickly show this one back into robot mode and I'll share it alongside the other one that I've just got to hand. Uh, and then I will be doing another review just showing all of them combined. I think the combined mode is called something like Athena. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I will look that up before I do the review and, and post anything on it. Um, when transforming it back, you just have to make sure there's little grooves for these to be plugged into, like that. So just make sure they're lined up. Okay. Unfortunately, I mean, some posted this on one of the reviews, said, you know, it's a really overused mold. And it, and it is, to be honest with you. I and mean, it's got that same issue I mentioned about the kind of splitting in here. Uh, but I am still pleased that we've got these figures. Um, you know, the Transformers franchise has got so many male um, characters and kind of role models, whatever you want to call them. But um, there isn't a huge amount of females. And it's great to have a few more characters that... Um, people can kind of latch onto, I think. So there she is there. And then if I bring in the other one side by side. Oh, 
have to say the um, the one on the right, the green light one, does feel uh, better quality the, in terms of tolerances and everything else like that. The legs on this one do feel a little bit loose. Um, you know, they aren't moving around on this one when you sort of shake it around, um, but just transforming it backwards and forwards, this one does feel a little bit more solid. Um, anyway, that's it for now, guys. I just thought I'd do a quick review just to show her off. And uh, yeah, the next one, we'll be taking a look at all of them combined. So look out for that. Oh, sorry about hiccup for that. Um, yeah, as always, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.